What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can edit with two monitors or even more if you want to, because this has actually been possible in Vegas Pro for many, many years. It's always a good thing to, for example, use like one screen, especially if it's a tiny one. You can just hook up another monitor so you can preview it full screen and see what you're doing and use your main monitor actually for the entire timeline of cutting and all that. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set it all up, how to use it the most efficient way. So if you guys were excited for that video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. I would say let's start editing dual monitor setup right after the intro. All right, guys. So, of course, when you want to edit with dual monitor setup, it's actually pretty straightforward that you have two monitors or at least two monitors. I'm going to show you guys how to enable this big preview that's on that monitor and also just how you can, for example, shrink out this little preview that you see right there and how you can just bring up that timeline completely so you have a lot, a lot more space for, you know, multiple tracks because let's say that you're editing with like multicams and all that. You're using maybe nine different angles. It's always a pain in the ass if if you always have, for example, that much space, if you have so many tracks, you always got to like keep scrolling up, keep scrolling down. That's just another benefit that you have if you're going to edit just with a dual monitor setup. Let me guide you guys through it. All right, guys. So this is basically the setup that I use for many, many years now. So the thing is that if you have not that big of a screen, it is actually a lot more self-explanatory that you're going to use a second monitor because, of course, the tinier the screen, the less space you will have right here where you're all where all your video tracks are. So the first thing that you need to do if you want to enable this mode is at the very top of the preview screen, you can see this icon, which is right now blue highlighted, and it is called the video preview on external monitor. So if I check that, of course, right now, it's just going to pop to my tweet deck. It's going to close that out. But if I'm going to click on that, it's just going to hop to full screen, as you guys can see right now. And that is how you can just edit with multiple screens. Now, of course, it's always better if you have one monitor completely just for your timelines and everything and your media tabs if you have your full screen open right here I would just hold my icon on this timeline right there so you will see the icon so you can drag this guy up and as you can see you will have a lot a lot more space for video tracks so right now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine eight 10 tracks you can even add up you know to 11 but that basically depends on like what your resolution is if your resolution is going to be for example 4k these tracks are going to be even tinier and you'll be able to even see more of these tracks right now i have 11 tracks and that also includes video and audio because as you can see right now for a regular video of mine i already use two tracks for video which is my face cam and also my screen recording and then i have two audio tracks as well one of the recording one of my external mic i have one audio track for my intro sound my other sound effects when you see that subscribe visual pop up and even at the bottom right there you will have the background music track so a lot of tracks are shown and also used in this project and that counts for every single video every single asset that you see needs to be on a different video track whether it's your face cam it is for example this like you know visual that i have popping up or the subscribe thing everything is on a separate track even the outro at the very back that is just how it works and of course you don't want to for example resize this track because the face cam has to be in the bottom right corner and for example place this intro clip on the same track because then this outro screen is also going to be shrink to the bottom right corner so this is just really really handy if you guys want to go ahead and use your dual setup but the cool thing is you can use one preview right there and also just preview the second one or just the main video on your second monitor you can even add up to a third one or even four if you want to for example to have one one color grading monitor and then one track motion monitor one timeline monitor and then just one preview monitor that's just completely up to you guys what you guys are looking for vegas pro will automatically recognize the new monitor when you are you know connecting it whether it's through dvi or hdmi or whatever not that complicated so now you guys have seen it how to do it it is actually really really simple and also really effective if you want to divide up your monitors between a couple things and you don't want to make you know pop up everything
everything on one screen is going to get messy because if i'm going to be honest with you if i'm going to press alt g on my keyboard that's going to make these four color grading panels pop up so right now i cannot even see three tracks right now i'll show you guys real quick if i wanted to go ahead and color grade this clip for example i only see two clips and that's because of i have all these color grading panels open up right here and that's just one of the downsides that you have to keep scrolling down and everything so now i'm only able to see like two tracks or i have to got like go ahead and like scroll down through this menu to see through all the tracks and that's just one of the benefits that if you have like your dual monitor set up you can drag this guy all the way up to that and now you see a lot more tracks and that's just a really quick way to work more efficiently if you want to grade and you want to still see all your video tracks and there's nothing more to it all right guys so now that you've seen that this is how you do it this is how i do it as well because of course if you have multiple video tracks and you're not just editing a clip directly from your camera you have multiple tracks going on from audio from visuals to you know your intro or whatever you might use in your project this comes in really really handy so if you guys also use this dual monitor setup with two or even more monitors let me know down in the comments let me know what you think is the most useful about this feature this is all i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video make sure to reward it with a like down below i'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video so i'll catch you guys obviously in the next one